Just a reminder that they have been looking for Francisco Oropesa for four days now. He's been on the run, and as early as just a few hours ago, this is what's so remarkable about this, folks. As early as just a few hours ago, the headlines all over cable news have been zero leads. We've gone from zero leads in looking for that man with that incredibly distinctive tattoo on his arm to have, having caught him. I mean, this is what this news conference is about, having caught the man suspected of not only gunning down four adults, but a nine-year-old boy inside that house that was his neighbor, right? The other fact that may have escaped you, because there have been a lot of manhunts and a lot of news this week, is that two women were found inside that house dead, and they were shielding children underneath them. Those children survived unharmed, but the two women were dead, and the children were covered in blood. Let me take you back live to this news conference. Craig Capers with the San Jacinto Sheriff's Office. Good evening. I'm Sheriff Greg Caper, San Jacinto County Sheriff's Office, uh, with great news. Uh, the suspect is in custody. I have just left Montgomery County Jail where he was taken and he has been magistrated. He now will be taken to my jail and uh, where his new residence will be. Um, I would like to thank the men behind me and the women behind me. They're not women here right now, but they, everybody played a very, very integral part in the arrest and capture of this coward. Um, everybody behind me has worked tirelessly. I know that there are several uh, people out of these 225 plus officers in at this scene, not to include the millions of, of people, thanks to the media, y'all push the message out. Uh, but we've had calls from Wyoming, Florida, South Texas, North Texas, Oklahoma, Maryland, and those are just a few of the places. We were here, they were there, Bottom line is, we now have this man in custody. He was caught hiding in a closet underneath some laundry. They, were, they effectively made the arrest. He is uninjured, and he is currently being taken to my facility in Cold Springs. Thank you. Can you tell us how uh, you guys were able to find him? What clues led you to him tonight? Well, it, it was a multi-jurisdictional operation, to say the least. Uh, somebody got a tip, uh, uh, DPS, CID, uh, U.S. Marshals, FBI. We had a TAC team. They all meandered over there and uh, found found that, that tip to be true. And was this home a relative's home? Did, did he know where he was? That, that's unknown to me. Uh, maybe one of these guys behind me can speak to the actual... Uh, information on, on, on where how, how he was actually captured. Sheriff, what's your message to the family members, the surviving family members of those people who were killed in this attack? Well, they, they, they can rest easy now um, because he is behind bars and he will live out his life behind bars for killing those five. Sure. Guys, we have, uh, we have, hey, guys, we have time for you. questions afterwards. Sheriff, uh, if, uh, ASAC, the ASAC, uh, yes, please. This is the ASAC. Hey, good evening. Thank you, Sheriff Capers. Uh, my name is Jimmy Paul. I'm an assistant special agent in charge with the FBI Houston Division. Uh, thanks for uh, having me. So, just wanted to say, first and foremost, the, the victims and their families are in the forefront of our minds, and we're extremely delighted that the suspect was captured. The tip for the suspect's location came in through the FBI's tip line, and we just want to thank the person who had the courage and bravery to call in the suspect's location. Special Agent Paul, or Ted Williams, Fox News, or do, do you know if this individual will be facing federal charges? 
Uh, currently, it's an ongoing investigation, and uh, he's being charged by the San Jacinto County Sheriff's what Office. What is the connection to the person who's harboring Uh, Sir, it's an ongoing investigation. I can't comment on that. Did he say any, did he give any indication why he did this? What was his demeanor when he was apprehended? Was he agitated? Was he tired? Hey, guys, we're going to, we're going to let him get through his statement and the U.S. Marshals and afterwards we will take questions. He said, cool. Okay, thank you. Uh, I just wanted to thank uh, the person who had the courage to call in the tip. And also I'd like to thank the many FBI personnel and local law enforcement agencies who work nonstop to bring this uh, person to justice. Uh, to bring a sense of uh, justice to the victims and also a sense of security to the community of the San Jacinto uh, County community. Um, I mean, this is basically what we do. You know, we show up, we bring the adequate resources, and then we don't we don't let up. We always said it's not a matter of if, but a matter of when the suspects can be caught. And we're extremely glad that today is the when. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.